So we'll take a look in a moment at what in more detail about what we mean by process mining. But process intelligence, what we're really talking about is taking the basic process mining that we'll be discussing and adding additional capabilities to answer your questions uh, more thoroughly. So for instance, in addition to process mining, which takes the data from, from log files and systems of record and analyzes that, we're also going to be using task mining. So for those functions that are not automated, where a person is sitting at their computer and is working through a process that's not leaving digital breadcrumbs that we can later interpret, we need a way of taking that manual work, recording it and analyzing that so we can look at it alongside the automated processes. Then as far as the area of analysis and optimization, sure, process mining is great for showing you the flow of steps in your process, but there's a lot more that can be done to analyze the specific data. And we'll see in just a moment some of the additional capabilities that are provided with process intelligence and the fact that because they're not all reliant on trying to map everything to one central picture, it does away with one of the chief limitations of process mining, which is that it works great for relatively simple, straightforward processes. But when you've got too many variations and too many steps, process mining starts to have difficulties visualizing all the data. Process intelligence adds capabilities so we can handle those more complex processes. Another difference between process mining and process intelligence is that in process mining, we often focus on the aggregate. Let's take all the steps of all the process instances and see how they map to a schema or a flow diagram. With process intelligence, we do that, but we also go beyond that to pay attention to each individual case. And of, we're also getting continuous updates on every step in every submission so that we're able to then add a monitoring function where we can look at every process that's underway. We can define a set of behaviors or rules that can look for specific behaviors of interest. And then while we're monitoring every instance, we can then send out a notification if particular conditions happen, or we can even automatically kick off a remediation process as necessary to giving us a closed loop control. And finally, because we have this model of all the steps and all your process instances, and we're updating this continuously, we can also use that alongside a neural network so that we can get predictive capabilities so that we can notify of what's likely to happen even before.